Welcome back to Katie and Blondie. So I need to go do my homework because I'm just home from school. I will be back because today we are cleaning up my slime shop area. So yeah, I will be back. Okay guys, so I am back. Finished my homework and now it's time to clean. So let's give you an overview. So this is what it usually looks like. So let's give it a clean. I think it's pretty dirty. So let's start off by taking everything off it. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting. Sorry for the noise in the background, guys. Three full bottles of shaving cream. One, two, three. I'm and I'm getting more glue tomorrow because yummy. Yeah. Detergent. Baby lotion. Lots of paint. So let's keep going. Oh yeah, and we are going to be cleaning all the stuff. All the stuff that is dirty. So let's go. There's like slime. Ew. It's a rock hard. Look. It doesn't stretch. It's rock hard. That's not. Yeah, that. We need to clean that. By the way, that's from behind the bathroom. Need to I have loads of these things. The bowl and spatula really need to clean. A bit dirty. It's not in the Indies. Oh, no. I'm gonna use these for measuring cups, the lids. So let's keep these. Oh god. I'm gonna rinse it this PVA bottle and put water in it. Or like activate or something like that. It's like a squat it there. So that's a good idea. By the way, you're not able to open up a contact solution. Bottle, which is so sad because you could just fill it up with more activator, but you can't because you can't open it unless you could open the hot glue. But I don't have a hot glue gun, so let's put these in the bin. They're gone. Boom. Remember, guys, tune in for part two on Katie and the London.